The good news is the Canadians have had success against the Tongans, beating them in the 20, 2003 World Cup. Victoria's Morgan Williams was part of that 24-7 victory. Canada's last World Cup captain reflects on his days on rugby's biggest stage. We really need to put you know, all our eggs in one basket and try and come out and, and play out of our skin and to the best of our ability. On his skin, a permanent reminder of an experience he could never forget. 1999 was the first year Morgan Williams represented Canada at the World Cup of Rugby. You got chills the whole warm-up, you got goosebumps, and I don't think they went away until, you know, five or ten minutes actually into the game. It's something that the guys who have never, you know, been to something like that, it's something to, to savor. Hopefully they, they all get in and, and really get to relish the moment. Williams has had many moments on the international stage. He's been capped 51 times. In 2007, he retired from international competition after captaining the World Cup team. This is the first time in 12 years he'll be watching the tournament from home. I have a lot of friends so on the team, so I'm kind of, I live through them and, you know, whenever I can, you know, I was lucky enough to coach them for a long time. Being around those young guys, it's just... For me, that's the greatest feeling is, is getting to know them, getting to play with them. And then now is, you know, hopefully, you know, they take one or two things that I've taught them and, uh, and get on the field and, and really, you know, get to make a name for themselves. It's the young players that Williams will be watching closely in New Zealand. James Bay scrum half Sean White and UVic's Nathan Hiriyama both represent the future of Canadian rugby. Both are fast, both are athletic two of Canada's most lethal weapons against an extremely large Tongan side. It's, it's not fun when you have these Tongan men running at you because they are, they're, almost, they're monsters. And, uh, you know, everyone's, you know, each one's bigger than the next. Our biggest thing is to try and, I would think, try and avoid some of that contact and try and move the ball quickly and, and hopefully our fitness will, uh, will be a lot better than theirs. Tonight, Tonga looks different. 11 players who sat out against the All Blacks in last week's opening game will take the field. Williams is convinced Canada will get Tonga's top side tonight. Tonga is in the same position we are. They're going to look to Tonga or target Canada, Japan, and France to, to try and go through to the next round. So would you risk playing all your best players against a team that you're probably not going to win against? I don't think so. We really need to match them, especially in the forwards. And if we don't do that, then it's going to be a long day.